I'm going to do a quick video in tribute to Encanto, which is a film that me and my daughter have loved. Now, I know it's filled with feminine propaganda. We can't get away from that these days. Um, let's not worry about that. Let's just say, did we enjoy the songs or not? And I did, personally. I thought it was great. I loved it. And I, I saw it in a good cinema, good speakers. I've watched it on Disney. It wasn't so good with my soundbar and my, my little subwoofer and that in the, you know, in the television room. But... It's a great, great... It's, it's just brilliant. I loved it. There's a reason why um, we don't talk about Bruno. It's top of the charts and all that stuff. And personally, my favourite song is uh, Surface Pressure. I think it's a song called... Uh, is it Jessica Darrow? Jarrow? I may have that. Sorry. I probably just butchered the, 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 the wonderful singer who has a brilliant range, I must say, who plays Louisa in the film. Uh, the strong one. But... What we're going to talk about here is poetry. And we can go through the lyrics of my favourite... Yes, Jessica Darrow is her name. Apologies to her. She's not going to listen to this, but I'll apologise anyway, because she's a wonderful singer. She starts off with this kind of gruff, low grumble, and then she just goes up the octaves into this beautiful, sweet, girly voice. She's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And what we're going to talk about here... And what we need to know is that um, the writer of this song, and in fact all the songs in it, uh, Puerto Rican-American, I believe he is, could be wrong there, um, is very influenced by hip-hop. And I'm going to uh, put forth the um, hypothesis, this song would not have been possible if it wasn't for rap, for, um, you know, the... Uh, the hip hop influence, and he, 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 even obviously the most technically, you know, my favorite rapper is Biggie, but um, Eminem, Eminem was more technically advanced. Um, I also believe that Big Pun was technically better than Biggie, although uh, Beat uh, shot me down when I, I, I suggested that. But okay, whatever. I believe that this song would not have been possible without rap, and so we'll go through the lyrics. I'm the strong one. I'm not nervous. I'm as tough as a crust of the earth is. So, that, you know, we're getting good rhymes. I move mountains. I move churches. And I glow because I know what my worth is. I don't ask how hard the work is. Got a rough, indestructible surface. Diamonds and platinum. I find them, I flatten them. I take what I'm handed. I break what's demanded. This is rap. In a girl, in a Disney form, this is, this is brilliant rap. You know, diamonds are platinum, fine or flat, and this is great. Under the surface, I feel berserk as a tightrope walker in a three ring circus. Under the surface, was Hercules ever like, yo, I don't want to fight Cerberus? This is a reference to Greek mythology, this is clever. Under the surface, I'm pretty sure I'm worthless if I can't be of service. A flaw or a crack, the straw in the stack, the bricks of camel's back, what bricks of camel's back is? Pressure. And it goes on, we don't need to go through all of it, but I would just like to say, you know, there's other bits, you know, line up the dominoes, a light wind blows, you try to stop it, tumble in, but on and on it goes, you know. I would, I, I'm sure that the dude who wrote this song, um, whose name I've actually forgotten, even though I did read about him. Uh, this dude has studied Eminem. He knows assonance. He knows getting all of your vowels to rhyme. And it pretty much does for the whole song. So I would say anyone who hasn't watched it, um, go see the film. As I say, full of feminist propaganda, but it was really entertaining. And the songs, Surface Pressure, sung by the character called Louisa, who's the big muscly girl who... yeah. It, Jessica Jarrow uh, plays her. It's brilliant.